Hey everyone, it's Alice and I've got a bit of a spontaneous unboxing for you today of a pre-order incentive and a little packet from Bucha Buxa. Bucha Buxa is a German book box and they did these absolutely stunning editions of Strange the Dreamer. So I ordered them, I had been on the waitlist for a little while and I got the email through and I ordered them. And then I got an email from Butcher Books the next day saying that they only had damaged copies of Muse of Nightmares, so it shouldn't have actually been possible to do the order. So I accepted one of the damaged copies and I'm gonna unbox these for you now. We can see just how badly damaged it is. Um, so I'm hoping not too badly damaged, um, but this is the company who are also doing the Red Rising German special editions, so I will be doing another unboxing of theirs in a few weeks hopefully, and I thought I would show this off for you today, and then we can also together see the pre-order incentive for the Merciless ones because that arrived at the same time and I thought why not show off it to you because I can't actually remember what the pre-order incentive for this one was. I can just remember pre-ordering it to get the incentive um, and because I wanted to pre-order it anyway because it was a Warzone signed edition and why wouldn't I pre-order it? So let us dive in and have a look at these gorgeous German books. I also apologise if you are German and I'm really butchering the pronunciation of bu butcher books sir, because I've just googled how to pronounce it and I don't know how accurate the pronunciation guide on Google is. So if you are German please let me know um, because I'd like to know for the future because it's good to educate yourself. So in we go we have Packing Peanutters Galore and then we have oh I love them they're beautiful oh my god okay so here is James the Dreamer It's just so beautiful. The German cover is my favourite cover of these books that I have ever seen. It has like the dream jar and it has book one at the bottom so you know what you're reading and then it has the moths all over it and it's like fluffy which is nice and obviously it's in German so if I would like to reacquaint myself with reading German I can do that to read this book um, because I did used to know German um, and I've heard that reading books that you love in other languages is one of the best ways to retain that language so I might try it but this has the stenciled sprayed edges with the moss and the stars all over and strange as you can see is gold it looked on the pictures like it was foil but it's not and I actually like that a lot more because I was worried that being foil it might damage very easily but it's just printed to look as though it is foil which is more interesting I don't think I've ever seen that level of detailing on stenciled or sprayed before and it also has the flaps so the flaps open up to reveal a quote underneath and then the flap at the other end opens up to reveal the other like the picture of the other book which is very clever these are my first German editions I have ever owned so I don't know if that's standard for German books and then we have Muse of Nightmares and I think what the problem is is that they're meant to line up but Okay, on the on the picture they sent me that said that it was damaged and that they shouldn't have been available for order, it wasn't like half of a moth, it was like a whole moth. So I'm wondering whether it was meant to be a damaged copy and they've just sent me a normal copy. Maybe all the damaged ones got refunded, apart but, from like a couple. Because there is nothing wrong with this. There's no misprints. There is nothing wrong with this at all. It's got the dream jar. Oh, it says book one on the front. No, it's because the publisher is one. So that isn't the problem either. Like, everything is fine. We've got the quote on the inside. It's sprayed at the bottom and at the top. There's no, like it's a little bit kind of scratched on some of the spraying, but I think that doesn't, really make a difference at all if that was all that they thought that it was for being damaged that's absolutely crazy i am so glad that i said yes because like i thought the problem was that they didn't line up oh i wonder if they'd sent a picture of the bottom edge instead because it looked like the moth was smaller and it wouldn't line up anymore and i thought that that was the problem 
that they were showing me. But if it's just that little bit of scratching there, that's so minuscule that I wouldn't have even noticed it if they hadn't told me that it was a faulty copy. Oh my god, I'm so happy with these! <laughs> if these aren't the most beautiful books you've ever seen, you're wrong. Um, if these aren't the most edi gorgeous editions of Strange the Dreamer that you've ever seen, you're wrong. Because, like, I own the Illumicrate Special Edition, so I thought that was going to be the best purchase of Strange the Dreamer that I'd ever made. And I was wrong. Who knew that copies that I will probably never be able to read would be the favourite ones that I would have on my bookcase? I just love everything about these editions, and I'm so glad that I managed to snag a copy. So thank you, Butcher Busha, for providing me with these, and for being so kind as to point out damage that I can't even see myself. So that proves that if you haven't ordered from them and you've been thinking about it, it proves that their quality control is exceptional, and that they really do hold themselves to high standards, because I think for most of the book boxes, they wouldn't have pointed that out, and they wouldn't think that it was an issue. They definitely wouldn't be selling off the copies as damaged cheaper, um, because they wouldn't see that as a problem. So that is amazing customer service and that is really amazing quality control. So, wow, very impressed with these. Much happier than I thought I would be. And really impressed with the fact that it's not foil because as I said, I was concerned that it would rub off so easily and where it's sprayed to look like foil, so much nicer. So happy with those. Let us quickly open up this Merciless Ones pre-order incentive and then I will let you get on with your day. Thank you for spending some time with me while I flail about German books. I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye out to see what other books this company do in the future because dang those are stunning. So we have a bookmark that has two quotes on it. It says, all this time I've been terrified of my ability when instead I should have been regarding it as a treasured weapon. That's a quote from the Gilded Ones. And then on the back we have, Names are what give things power, even gods. If I call you a god, then you are one. Never forget that. And that's from the Merciless Ones. So as you can see, it's foiled. So that's a nice little extra. And then we have a pin badge. Ah, yes, it was a pin badge. This is Decker's sword. And it's a nice little sword with a little green gem in it. Will they see us as warriors or monsters? So considering that was just like a little bonus free thing for pre-ordering a book I was already planning on pre-ordering, very happy with these as well. So thank you to Usborne Books for sending those through. And again, a huge thank you to Butcher Busha for having amazing quality control and really, really brilliant customer service. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a like. And if you'd like to subscribe, we'd be super, super grateful. We'll be back in a couple of days with another video. It'll probably be another unboxing because I'm still desperately in the middle of a very big reading slump so actually finding content to talk about books that we're reading difficult finding content to talk about books that f we find gorgeous very very easy so see you in a couple of days with another video i'm alice and this is the bumbling blogger bye if these aren't the most beautiful books you've ever seen, you're wrong. Um, if these aren't the most edi gorgeous editions of Strange the Dreamer that you've ever seen, you're wrong. 